Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Masson uh, and Gary Gray. Hi. Gary Gray. Hi. Uh, so this is a little bit... Yeah, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're wicked tired. Very tired from EGX. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Yeah. Uh, this is Nintendo Dads. But I'm going to pretend like I've made poor life decisions. Yeah. And I bought an Xbox. I've made worse decisions, but yeah, we can Is there, we can is there worse that. decisions? We can I get know. Sonic Forces on Xbox. Uh, <laughs> that would be that would be the worst decision ever. See a previous video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll I'll, I'll I'll link it somewhere here. You can go see a really bad video about why Sonic Forces is a dumpster dive. Um, but you, sir, you did get to play an Xbox at EGX, and not just any Xbox. You got to play the Xbox One X, X Scorpion Golden Edition <laughs> Galaxy Edition thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, you were hyped about this. I couldn't I couldn't care less. Yeah, I was so, happy you were happy. That was the big thing there. So I like to see things from a, a bigger picture. I'm oh, yeah, there yeah, I'm a small-minded person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Oh, yeah, I it's appreciate okay. that. It's my video, but you can say that. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I uh, wanted to have a uh, hands-on with everything, so I went yep. over to the PS4, and I really wanted to play Xbox One X. It's the only place you could play it before it's launched. Yes. And they were still on dev kits. They okay. weren't on the actual Xbox One X retail editions. Okay. Is that so, shocking? I mean, is it, it's come out in the middle of November. Yeah, uh, they had Forza running on the actual units, but uh, the games that I played was the dev units. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, we played the most Nintendo game that wasn't on the Nintendo system. Sure. Which was... Cannot remember the name of this game. No! It was... Uh, there was a fox with it. It was a fox, yeah. Lucky's... Some super lucky super tail. Luck, super, super lucky tail. tail. I was like meatballs. I don't know. <laughs> super super like, meatballs. Yeah, super meatballs. <laughs> super lucky tail. Yeah, and uh, it was really good. The, the Xbox One X does look really good. Yes. Still slowed down, which mm. was the which was the thing that amazed amazed me. I yeah. thought it was going to run consistently at a steady frame rate. Right. It still slowed down. Okay. And disaster struck as well. Oh no! The guy next to me. Yes. He's packed in completely. It stopped. Oh no. It gave up. Almost red ringed, but it did come back on. <laughs> oh wow, okay, yeah. So it, that was kind of not not the most sort of not a best ringing, showing. Yeah, not a ringing ringing uh no. ringing endorsement there. No, so a oh, red ringing endorsement. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> I was actually really excited to play it yeah. and actually walked away disappointed. So my money would just go on the normal Xbox if I was to spend my money on on the systems at the minute. So as what? It stands. So what made you disappointed? Because because your man beside you's Xbox died. No, it just didn't run as well as I wanted it to. Oh, okay. It wasn't enough of a jump. Yeah. Eh? It was. You could see the difference. Yes. If you got the 4K TV. Mm-hmm. But it is not enough of an, a jump. Sure. If it's going to run the same games. It's not. It's to me, it wasn't worth it. These people out there, it's going to appeal to. Yeah. But to me, it wasn't. But I did get to play some other games. I, yeah. I got uh, a go on Sea of Thieves, which is Rareware. So Sea a Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Okay. Which is Rareware, so closely knitted with the Nintendo community. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're back on form. Okay. Brilliant, amazing game. This was an interesting game to watch. Yeah, very interesting. Because they have yeah. what five? They have ten screens, like essentially five in a row. Yeah. And then the another five on a row. And what are you doing in this game? Because I was. Very confused at first. So you're uh, you're basically running a pirate ship. The the one okay. five screens was on one pirate ship. Yep. The other five screens was on the other pirate ship. Yes. You all had a headset on with a microphone mm -hmm. talking to each other. Okay. So you're delegating, and you had to split the roles. So you had to find the other ship and destroy it. As simple as that. Sure. But so you had to get someone to steer the ship. Yeah. They can't see where they're going. Yes. Because there's too much stuff in the way. There's the wheel. Okay. There's the front of the ship. Yep. So you have to get someone to navigate. Mm -hmm. You have to get people manning guns. Yeah. And then you've normally got one with a bucket getting the water out your boat when it's going down. Oh, you gotta have Baylor. Gotta have Baylor. Yep. Yeah. You yeah. gotta have the worst player at doing that. Sure. I think, as well. Yeah. Exactly. So who's who's little brother's <laughs> doing that, right? So, yeah, it was incredibly good. Yeah. Um. So that's something for the Xbox fans to look forward to, I think. So the game is good, but I mean. Can you only get that game on the Xbox One S? One X. No, One that, X, that was S? just running on Xbox in general. Oh, and, really? Okay. So which not... amazed me because the two games, which were one on the Xbox One X opposite, yep. and then Sea of Thieves running on the normal Xboxes, yes. look the same. Mm. So, 
I'm gonna be really honest with you. I thought they were both running the the Xbox One. Is it Xbox One, One? One X. One yeah. X. That's a. What are you doing with your life, Microsoft, with your branding? All right. Like I know we and Wii U is a bad idea, but really, that's confusing. It's really, really confusing. I didn't realize that. I thought they were running. I thought it was running the Microsoft One X Xbox thing. <laughs> no, no. The, really? Uh, was so was was Sea of Thieves was just Fox the, game the only one doing it? Yeah. Uh, that Forza and Assassin's Creed. There were the only three on the X. Oh, um, my, oh no, Shadow of War was as well, but we didn't. We didn't. But see the, that. the the pirate thing was not for no, sure, eh? Wow. Definitely on the normal okay. Xbox, yeah. But the art style just lends itself that well. Yeah. It's done that 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 good that it just it looks the part. Yeah. It ran smooth, so it actually seemed to run smoother than the other game. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so yeah. it wasn't a good showing. No. No. Hmm. But there you go, that was the Xbox experience. Yeah, anyway. Xbox experience. Very rarely will you just hear us talk Xbox talk, but apparently that is that is that is the thing today, is Xbox Yeah, talk. yeah. Cool. Well it's just so closely knitted to what, what Nintendo's history's been with rareware. Yeah. The incremental yeah. jumps because we've had them with the three DS. Yeah, absolutely. So it's running parallels. Yeah. And the games both of those games would perfectly fit on any Nintendo platform. Yeah, that Fox game really looked like it should. Yeah. It, like you said before, it looked like it was from... Um, the N64, yeah. The N64 it, it, totally it, did. It yeah. looked like uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Yep, yeah, exactly. Banjo-Kazooie with a little bit of Cat Crash Bandicoot with and a little Conquer. bit of Conquer. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like it would have been a perfect game for the system, so... Yeah, cool. All right, uh, guys, that's our, that's our Xbox Dad's Chat. Again, probably not going to hear a lot more of that, but there it is. Gary, where can people find you doing your thing? Yeah, you can find me at underscore Top Nintendo on Twitter and on YouTube at Top Nintendo as well. There you go. Perfect. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.